Hello guys, welcome back to the forexboat.com. This is Monday, Victor with you here with another trade idea for this week. So it's Monday, let's get started. What we can expect. In previous weeks, we were talking about, about the Japanese yen, that it will be weak, but it proven to be actually very strong. Along with the pound that we were discussing previous week, which is very strong, yen is also looks pretty strong so we will continue on this topic and with today's idea being swiss franc japanese yen and again before we start would like to remind you that all the information in this video is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice and as usual we start uh, with uh, analyzing our previous ideas the oldest idea was new zealand versus canadian dollar and it was actually, the entry was there, it was back on the 9th. So you can see for about a month, price has been ranging. I think we will hit the target, it will go eventually to the upside. So still here, a potential buying opportunity, although obviously the stop loss at break even, we mentioned that multiple times on the New Zealand Japanese yen. Because of the Japanese yen strength, I still think we will hit our target here. Uh, nevertheless, we will see, but uh, the exit signal would have been triggered, triggered already uh, because the daily close was above the previous high, although you can see here also the daily close was above. So here it's kind of mixed scenario because New Zealand dollar looks overall quite strong for the time being. Uh, and if, if you had this trade open, maybe fixing profit would be a good idea. So we were talking about fixing profit already uh, prior to that. But our entry, if you remember, was 64.95. This, this pair is unclear to me at the moment. So it's better to exit than just, you know, play uh, gambling. Now, Canadian Japanese yen, we did reach the target here uh, on the Canadian Japanese yen. This was our nearest target. So that's, um, that was a good trade. But guys, as we have spoke about the long-term Japanese yen strength, we still can expect quite a rally here. Although this uh, trade is done for the time being, uh, but as I said, the idea is that it can go quite down substantially. Now on the pound, uh, the pound has reached our target, the first target, uh, which was near this stop. It has corrected back providing, I think, yet another very good buying opportunity uh, near this price. Because as long as this low holding 23.86 and there is no daily close below that, the trend will remain bullish. And I think this looks like a good buying opportunity, at least till this target at 61.8 FIPS, although I think it might go quite a lot because we spoke about the strong pound overall. The latest idea we had is the pound versus euro, euro GBP. And from what I see, guys, if you remember on the, on Friday, I was speaking about the waiting and see where will be the daily closing price before taking any actions. So for now we see, uh, because the daily close was above this level, obviously the stop loss must be above this high. So entry would have triggered on the uh, close on the daily close, which is actually Monday. It was a good idea to wait until Monday, see what happens. We closed above here, which means that it's still very good opportunity. Uh, nothing changed in terms of that. And I think the stop loss has to be adjusted clearly. It must be above uh, the daily close of this level. So if daily close will be above 88.62, that's an exit signal. But although it must be a clean, not like with the spikes and so on, uh, it must be a clean break and close. Still here, a selling opportunity. I will adjust it. The daily close has been higher than this level. So we just have to now with this trade, put the stop loss in different place. The target remain at the same place. So the risk reward guys, as you can see, is very good. It's extremely good. Therefore, we can even put higher stop loss just to have a risk reward two to one. If you if you kind of ent entering at this price. Okay, now let's move on to our uh, idea for Monday for this week. And this will be Swiss franc Japanese yen. Previously, we had a buy idea, which has 
where the stop loss has triggered. Now we have a quite a different view that this could in fact be a long term downtrend because we broke about our support level, the daily close was below, I mean, and this is really, really looks very bearish to me at the moment. Now, let's look at the weekly. Here I have applied FIPS. We can see now at this point, there was a very clean bounce at 23.6 FIPS, very clean. And I have applied another FIPS to this level, to this correction after breaking the 200 exponential moving average. We see that the very strong support now at the 88.6 FIPS, which is 100.3, uh, sorry, 103.62. This means that this pair could potentially go 700 pips down. That's a long-term downtrend. And it looks very, very bearish to me, to be honest with you. This is why our New Zealand Japanese yen and Canadian Japanese yen uh, trades, uh, uh, sell trades could be very good as well. So this is a long term view on this Japanese yen. Now, I would also like to 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 bring your attention to this bounce of the two moving averages. It's also very good since we rejected it on the weekly chart and this was a clean bounce of both of them. Also a very bearish signal. Now, moving on to the four hour chart, we see here rejection of 200 simple and exponential moving averages. Now, in the short term, we see here was a support, support and the resistance. So this would be the level of the first take profit. And we need to see if price manages to break it. So overall, uh, entry on sh small pullbacks would be perfect. Uh, approximately at 111 uh, psychological resistance, I think price can get back to this level and it will provide an excellent selling opportunity. The exit would be the daily close above this price above 111.50. Now here the selling opportunity till, till 109.86 uh, on average and it seems like a very very good short term trade and then if this level will be broken this will provide quite a strong rally to the downside. Now finally a one hour chart we see here a bearish divergence on the RCI oscillator also and again our support level. This, this is the first very strong support which I expect to be tested very soon. So this is the short term forecast and then it could be a long term downtrend. So you, it can be traded short term and long term depend, depends on, uh, on your risk tolerance and whether you like swing trading or intraday trading. But yeah, it can be done in both directions. So yeah, guys, that, that's it. So we have a very strong Japanese yen, very strong pound expected in the coming weeks, which means pound Japanese yen could be actually uh, range trading while all Japanese pair going down and one or most uh, pound pairs going up. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this view for the coming weeks, actually not one week. This is a long term. And uh, we will speak to you very soon. Take care, guys, and profitable trading to everyone.